It took Jason a half hour to saw through the duct tape with his keys. When he could pull his arms forward again, the blood burned as it circulated, a severe pain that overtook the numbness caused by the cold. It is 8 a.m. on Monday morning. I don't know if the library is opening today, but I wanted to come early in case it is opening, because it's Memorial Day. But I have books to return, and I can't handle the temptation of being able to go in and look at books. So, I'm coming early, and that way I won't wind up with any more, because I really need to start reading the books I own instead of library books. And this is me at Goodwill, continuing my problem with books. And I was very right about Second and Charles and not needing to get the Pretty Little Iris books because I just found the fourth one. And I don't know how many there are, but I think there are a lot. And I'm just going to continue getting them at Goodwill because they're like a buck a piece. The hardback books here went up from like $2 to $3, which seems very inconsequential, but it's not. It makes a big difference when you're getting cheap books. It's like, well, I could get three paperbacks or one hardback and... Suddenly I've stopped getting hardbacks at Goodwill. But I am shopping. Look at all these books. So, I just got home from taking my sister to the airport. I was expecting to get to listen to my audiobook, The Tenth Circle, and get more done on that, but we wound up taking her car instead of mine, and it's in my car, so that didn't happen. I also haven't actually started Fractured, even though I posted on Goodreads that I have, because I'm a cheater. I'll start it soon. And I also got more social media. <laughs> Huzzah! So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, those were the two that I decided to sign up for, feel free. I'll include the links or my usernames or whatever, however you do it, <laughs> down in this, the description. But I'm AlexWriter6 on Instagram and AlexWriter61 on Twitter. So feel free to follow me. I will follow you back because I only follow like four people. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get some more for more reading done today. We shall see. And my hair is very poofy. This is why I wear a hat when I go out, because it's starting to look ridiculous. And by starting, I mean about two months ago, it started looking ridiculous. Do you ever start a book and you're just immediately annoyed by the very first page? Like nothing has happened yet. You're just irritated by everything that the book stands for. That's where I'm at right now with this. It just, I would so much rather sleep, but it's only 5 p.m. I finally finished Fractured. Huzzah! I've been suffering through that book for too long. Actually, I haven't been reading it for more than like three days, but like, I was suffering through thinking about reading it, and then it turned out to be bad, so like, it all counts as suffering. But that's over. I gave it two stars. My review for that is coming out soon or before this video. I forget. I can't, I can't do dates in my head. It doesn't work. It's too much like math. But I'm going to be reading this next. It is The Imposter Bride by Nancy Richler. I, mostly because this book is due at the library. Not till the end of the month, but I've renewed it three times. And that's, that's too many. That's too many for me. <laughs> I need to return it to the library. So we're getting this read. And hopefully this will be better. I was actually planning to read this next anyways before I realized I've already renewed it three times. So I've had it in my possession for like three or four months now. Oops. But I've been really wanting to read a historical novel. Well, not a historical novel, but a historical book. And I would prefer a nonfiction book about Nazi Germany, but this will have to be, this will have to be a good second. It's historical fiction, or partially historical fiction. It's about history, and that sounds so much better than a thriller right now. 
it is Wednesday. I'm I'm trying to keep reading this. I'm just in such a weird reading mood. Like I want to read and this book is good but lately I've just been reading books like I'll start a book and read like 50 pages over the course of one or two days and then put the book down and not touch it for three days and then just read the rest of it in one sitting. And I don't know why I keep doing that. It's... I need to break that habit because I've done that for the past about month on books. So I wind up actually not spending that much time reading. And I don't know, it's just irritating. But I have... I have done my shelves. You can see them in the background. You can see the one that's like there. Oh, it's like so big, so much space. I'm missing. I need to get um, more shelves for it. Like the individual shelves. So my friend and I are going to Ikea this week and I'm super excited. I'll be able to like get all of my books on the shelf and it'll be fantastic. And I'll take my dolls down and like put another one there as well. So I'll have like two more, well three, to fill with books. Huzzah! And then maybe I can do like a bookshelf tour. We shall see. I have to like, they're like up there and semi-organized, but I need to like really organize them because they're not really neat. And also I like this, I like this angle for vlogging. It's very nice. Like you can see the ridiculous amount of books. That's not even all my bookshelves. <laughs> I have a problem, y'all. But I just wanted to update you. I'm like decently into this book. I'm not, I haven't vlogged in like a minute because I've been taking my, you know, obligatory three days off from reading. And then if I sit down and read this tonight, I'll read the whole thing. Because that's what I've been doing. But yeah, hopefully I read this. It's like really good. And I realized right before I started it, I looked up the author just because I was curious. Like her name is Nancy Richler. And I was like, I just wanted to make sure I was saying that right. And it wasn't like Rickler. Ignore my hair. And I googled her. And apparently she died this year. And she died around the same time that I got this book from the library. And it was just like, it made me feel sad. I don't know. Like, I, I wish I hadn't googled that now. Because I was happier not knowing that. But this book is pretty good. Hopefully, hopefully the other, you know, 85% of it is good as well. I'm making progress. I'm like more than halfway there, but I've reached the point where I'm getting really concerned that the ending is going to be unsatisfying. Maybe not. I don't know. This is in the story where I could really guess the ending. Like I can, but not with like any degree of accuracy. I'm just getting this, this really unsettling feeling that there's, there's a good chance this is going to be an unsatisfying ending and that's going to that's gonna make me a little bit crazy but we'll see I might wind up finishing it tonight I have about two hours or an hour and a half probably two hours left of reading and it's getting a little bit late for me so I don't know if I'll actually finish it but it's kind of looking like it this one I've read about half the book in one sitting so I might finish it tonight I was going to vlog in Ikea yesterday, or like, we went book shopping after Ikea, and then I decided not to, because I was lazy and my phone was kind of dying since we had to drive like an hour and a half up to Nova, which is northern Virginia, which is a ways from us, but I got my shelves. I haven't, I haven't put them up yet, but yeah, we also stopped by Goodwill because we had some time between like going to Ikea and the fashion show, like, we had a couple of hours to kill, so we were like, oh, let's, let's stop by this Goodwill over here and, like, our quest to <laughs> go to every single Goodwill in the state. We've hit Richmond and the surrounding areas. We've hit Norfolk. Now we're starting in on Nova. And they had a lot of good books, actually. Like, maybe I've just picked the ones near here clean, or I'm just, like, I see the same books over and over since they don't, like, get a bunch of new books like constantly but they had a bunch of books so like I got 11 which I know I'm not supposed to do but I did I don't know I wanted all of them one of them was on the list I made I made a list of books I want to buy and I was like I'm not allowed to buy any other books except for these 
But then I found a lot of books that could have been on that list if I'd thought of them. So that like kind of counts, right? There was only like one or two books I got that like I really didn't need. A lot of them were like, oh, like I have multiple books by this author and I want to, I would like to collect more. So, oh well. I'm supposed to be reading Do No Harm right now, which my hair looks really weird from this angle. <laughs> my hair looks weird from every angle. I, I can't, I don't know what to do with it. That like got weird. But yeah, I'm supposed to be reading Do No Harm and I'm really not, I'm not in the mood. Not for like that, just like reading in general. I'm not down at the moment. I might read tonight if things <laughs> go differently than I think they will, but like, I'm probably not gonna read it until like sometime next week. I mean, it's not the book's fault, I'm only on like page one. I read the preface, which was decent. I didn't actually realize he was a British surgeon, but that was interesting and I feel like I'm gonna like it. It seemed like an interesting book. I'm just like, if things go well, maybe I'll like read a bunch tonight and tomorrow, but I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna wind up being sad and going to buy like 50 bucks <laughs> like that's that's probably gonna be my sunday um i already have book hauls scheduled out through like july because i don't like posting them back to back it like makes me feel weird i like giving them some space so i don't know you'll see these books in like august let's be real i'm not gonna read any of them by them so who cares I lied. Today is a good day. I am reading and eating Twizzlers, which are very, very good. Although they come in giant bags, so I'll have Twizzlers for like the next month. And they're all melted because I left them in my car. But yes, I lied. Life is good. I'm just a pessimist about literally everything in life. This is Sunday. I don't usually film on Sundays. But because yesterday I was like, I'm not going to read, and then today I'm like, I'm reading. I figured I would post. Add another video. But yeah, I have nothing else to say other than I'm reading this, and it's interesting. And I'm learning more about brain surgery than I ever really wanted to know. But, oh well. I will be knowledgeable in the medical field.